Opening Prayers, Prayer 1. Thanksgiving blessing, O Lord. We thank you for this earth, our home, for the wide sky and the blessed sun, for the ocean and streams, for the towering hill and the whispering wind, for the trees and green grass. We thank you for our senses by which we hear the songs of birds and see the splendor of fields of golden wheat and taste autumn's fruit, rejoice in the feel of snow and smell the breath of spring flowers. Grant us a heart opened wide to all this beauty and save us from being so blind that we pass unseen when even the common thorn bush is aflame with your glory. For each new dawn is filled with infinite possibilities for new beginnings and new discoveries. Life is constantly changing and renewing itself. In this new day of new beginnings with God, all things are possible. We are restored and renewed in a joyous awakening to the wonder that our lives are and yet can be. Amen. Prayer 2 prayer of gratitude. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have bestowed on my life. You have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You have given me family and friends who bless me every day with kind words and actions. They lift me up in ways that keep my eyes focused on you and make my spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. You protect me from those things that seem to haunt others. You help me make better choices and provide me with advices to help me with life's difficult decisions. You speak to me in so many ways so that I always know you are here. And Lord, I am so grateful for keeping those around me safe and loved. I hope that you provide me with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. I hope that you give me the ability to give to them the same kindness they have provided to me. I am extremely grateful for all of your blessings in my life, Lord. I pray that you remind me of just how blessed I am and that you never allow me to forget to show my gratitude in prayer and return acts of kindness. Lord's Prayer Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Day 3 Day 3 Scriptures for Meditation Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 The end of a matter is better than its beginning. Patience of spirit is better than haughtiness of spirit. Scripture reference Philippians chapter 3 verse 14 I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Scripture reference Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. For the gift of parents, present and absent, single and married, loving and abusive, alive and dead. Prayer for my unbelieving parents. Father in heaven, I bring my dear mother and father to you, those who brought me into this world and gave me the gift of life. I do thank you for all the loving support and care they have given me throughout my life, but I am also aware that they do not know the Lord Jesus as their Savior. I do praise you that in your grace you searched me out to become your child and give me the gift of eternal life. But Lord, I long that my parents also come to that same saving faith in Jesus. The older they get, the more I realize that without you they have a sad future. Lord, whatever it takes, I pray that in your mercy you will give both of them the sort of Damascus Road experience that Paul had before it is too late. Draw them to yourself, I pray. Bring them, Lord, to an understanding of who you are and what you have done for them, that you died on the cross to forgive their sins, and all that they have to do is to believe on Jesus as their Savior. Use me, Lord, in whatever way you choose to point them to Christ. Let me not speak out of turn, but let me not miss an opportunity to share the gospel with them once more. Father, I honor them as my parents and love them dearly. But Father, save them, I pray. Draw them with your love so that we may all be together in your eternal home. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer of thanks for my Christian parents. Loving Father, thank you for my wonderful parents and the love and support that they have given me throughout my life. Thank you, Lord, 
that you placed me in a family with parents that know and trust you and for the example they have been to me throughout my childhood and into my adult life. Thank you, Father, that they were chosen by you to be our parents and that you used them to bring me into a loving trust of Jesus, my Savior. Protect them and keep them from all harm and danger and grant them the health and strength as they get a little older. Thank you, Father, for the joy of family life and the love and grace that I have received through being part of this family. Thank you that we are all one in Christ and part of the heavenly kingdom throughout all eternity. Give my parents the joy of drawing ever closer to you with each advancing year. And Father, may I honor them in all things unto their lives end. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.